Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video we will discuss in details about the unit load concept, along with the advantages and disadvantages of unit loads, and the basic ways of restraining and moving a unit load. This video is a part of our course on material handling equipments. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. The unit load concept. A unit load is either a single unit of an item, or multiple units so arranged or restricted that they can be handled as a single unit and maintain their integrity. Advantages of unit loads. Number 1. More items can be handled at the same time, thereby reducing the number of trips required and, potentially, reducing handling costs, loading and unloading times, and product damage. Number 2. Enables the use of standardized material handling equipment. Disadvantages of unit loads. Number 1. Time spent forming and breaking down the unit load. Number 2. Cost of containers or pallets and other load restraining materials used in the unit load. Number 3. Empty containers or pallets may need to be returned to their point of origin. Basic ways of restraining a unit load. Through self restraining. One or more units that can maintain their integrity when handled as a single item, for example, a single part or interlocking parts. Through platforms. Using pallets, paper, wood, Plastic, metal, skids, metal, plastic. Through sheets. Using slip sheets made out of plastic, cardboard, plywood. Through reusable containers. Using tote pans, pallet boxes, skid boxes, bins, baskets, bulk containers, for example, barrels, intermodal containers. Restraining of unit loads through disposable containers. Like cartons, bags. Crates. Restraining through racks. Through load stabilization. By strapping, shrink wrapping, stretch wrapping, glue, tape, wire, rubber bands etc. So, these are the basic ways of restraining a unit load. Basic ways of moving a unit load. Through use of a lifting device under the mass of the load, for example, a pallet and fork truck. By inserting a lifting element into the body of the load, for example, a coil of steel. By squeezing the load between two lifting surfaces, for example, lifting a light carton between your hands, or the use of carton clamps on a lift truck. And finally, by suspending the load, for example, hoist and crane. So, we have discussed in details about the unit load concept, along with the advantages and disadvantages of unit loads, and the basic ways of restraining and moving a unit load. Thank you.